Yeah, do you still believe? Uh, and what you cannot see? So today we have to try this one. <laughs> Kinder Joy. It's look like this. Ah. It's from Europe, I think, because you don't know this. Uh huh. So we have to taste. Okay. For what the? So it's two of them. Here, no. Here there is toys. Like it's for children now, so <laughs> we don't care. So this is for it. Wait, you eat that? No. It's, oh, it's scoop because it's, it's like cream, you know. What in the world? Yeah. It's like milk. Uh, on the bottom there is chocolate, and this is uh, eggs chocolate. Like this. Can get yeah. some of that milk stuff in there? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Okay, that's really good. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's really mm -hmm. good. So there you have it guys, just another day in the life and so many fun experiences. This time I obviously didn't capture all of our practices and training sessions, but looks like paradise in a dream, which it is, but it's also a lot of, lot of hard work that goes with it. In between the photo shoot and the mandatory tennis match we had to go to, we had countless training sessions, countless weightlifting sessions, countless practices. We've been working really, really hard, but it is so nice when you get to work hard, get out of practice, and do some really, really fun things with your team. We had our little photo shoot, we got our portrait shots taken, and then we did some like cool videos for like the intro for our home matches. Okay, I know you wanna see mine, ready? So, for mine, I started off, I was like turned around, right? Dramatic effect. Turn around. So I turned around and I did this. And then I did a little smile. I know it's really bad. It's really cheesy. <laughs> My teammates were laughing at me, but I thought it was a good idea because I'm Italian and I love food. Oh, I love food. So yeah, we had our photo shoot and then practice. And then you saw me with Ade. Adeline, but we call her Ade, and she showed me a really, really good, popular candy chocolate thing that everyone has here in France, and it was amazing. Oh my gosh. The chocolate here is so rich and creamy. In America, chocolate tastes like plastic. Kit Kats from when I was little compared to Kit Kats now. Kit Kat before, Kit Kat now. People, what did what, did you take out all the chocolate and put like 
plastic and water in it like i don't understand and then we went to the tennis match that was really cool they had like non-alcoholic champagne there i didn't even know that was a thing like how you make champagne without alcohol and it actually tasted really good and then watching the men close up i'm so glad you guys don't hear the volume on the video because i covered it with music the noises these guys were making were so suspect change of topic change of discussion you saw our little trip that we went to our game in san rafael the beach was right there and i wanted to explore so bad but we had the games and in between our games we just went to the hotel and took a nap and then watched video and went back to our games so we didn't have any time to explore but we had two days off which is ridiculous so i've been just diving deeper into the word of god and learning about who I am in Jesus and just being more conscious of him being with me all the time. When I am just going about my day, sometimes I forget that, wow, Jesus is right here and he's so real and he's so alive and active in my life. All I have to do is realize that he's there. I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to do anything special to get anything. His love, his strength, his peace. I have all of that already. I've just been really working on understanding that and letting that really seep into my heart because honestly it's been really hard to be away from my husband and I feel like before this I kind of let him be more real to me than Jesus was. I was kind of having to force myself to read the Bible. Reading the Bible is such a gift and it's constantly learning more and more about who I am and who Jesus is in me and what I have through that. I've just been really spending my time that I'm alone without Daniel to really know more and to let that overtake my heart instead of other things that happen around me. In other words, I played libero during our game. Like I said in my Instagram post, you never know what you're gonna play. So you might as well get good at passing, get good at defense, get good at setting, get good at hitting everything. Cause you really never know. It happens guys, just get good at everything. So that wraps up this video and this week. And this next week we're going to train to prepare for the French cup that they paused last season. We're one of four teams in our league that get to compete in this French cup this next coming weekend. That was a lot to say we get to train and then compete against some really, really great teams. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm posting videos and more fun things to come. Bye.